Hey guys, welcome to the part four of Life is Strange. Uh, let's play. Uh, we completed episode one yesterday, and uh, well, we bonded with Chloe. We reunited with her. We found out the Arcadia Bay uh, is gonna be hit with a massive tornado in the next three or four days. So we need to like. Uh, take care of that if we can because we also revealed to her that we have some strange you know time manipulating power as max uh, as the main character chloe didn't initially believe it but i guess uh, after explaining the whole situation i guess she probably will now but anyway uh, episode one is done today we're going to be doing episode two and see where things you know go off uh, from there from episode one. So let's continue. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the tongue. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. And that's a recap of episode one. Now we're gonna continue on from you know where we left off and see uh, what happens. Story-based game features player choice, consequences of all reaction in the game, and decisions, blah, blah, blah. Yep. We know that. Um, snows. Right. And here we have the beginning intro music, which YouTube's gonna flag, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not gonna get monetized anyway, so just gonna uh, make this video for you guys for your enjoyment and my commentary as well. You know. All right, so we're we'll just uh, taking a look. At Max's uh, 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 dorm here, Max's room, a bit messy, but hey, it's home. <laughs> no, no, none of our homes are perfect in every single way. We try to arrange our, you know, uh, items and objects the way we want to. So our phones, our desks, our computers, and everything. Just have it in a perfect spot the way you want that's how we want to organize them right to make it our own but yeah very cozy this room all oh, right I can actually get up uh, let me get up all right good morning Max and she's a bit groggy <laughs> yeah all right here we go no amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Yeah, let's uh, make our bed first. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. We want to be responsible young adults. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Exactly. Thanks, Mom. Same here. I want to like have things neat and tidy. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Hmm. Very cool. I feel like me and Max have something in common, so, you know, the way she acts and behaves. I tend to do the same, mostly. Whoa, hello zombie face. 
This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Alright, so uh, read the phone text and everything, because, you know, that's the first thing we usually do when we wake up. Look at our phones, if anyone texted, any Facebook messages and stuff. Right, so uh, let's see what Chloe has to say. Chloe texted us. Uh, where does it start? You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about uh, your new powers? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Uh, and I need your help. Like when you told Stepdork it was your weed. Uh, but for reals, we need to talk. Uh, or eat an Asbuster breakfast at Two Wheels. My treat. Ooh, okay. Um, Soul. I'll have. I'll. Uh, it's good to have minions. Uh, got a bail master. Uh, breakfast is a go. You there, Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Also, she doesn't like emoji. <laughs> uh, meet me at the diner in forty. I'll be there. Don't be late, or I'll know time is not on your <laughs> side. Don't get high. Like in my room, on my way. You are evil, 40 minutes or else. Alright. Alright, so that's that. Let me read the... Uh, anyone else texted me or something? Yeah, so uh, Max, his mom, texted me saying... Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall... Okay, that one I already read. Um, hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. We gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Okay. Hmm, Dad didn't say anything, nothing here, Kate, uh, I think from Kate as well, Warren, I don't want to care, uh, but uh, I'll just read it for you guys. Uh, so what up, Max? Uh, hey, busy, I'm busy right now, talk to you later, is Dr. Graham in the house, serious science question, I make house calls for you, what's up, pup, uh, puts on serious science face. Uh, uh, what do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? So now I'm Dr. Who or Doc Brown for what class? I never got any cool time science homework and I know this shit. Uh, I'll explain in detail later if you actually help me. Uh, like time, my texts are infinite plus I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know I like sci-fi, uh, just think hard about it, okay? Uh, hit me up anytime. If you have other questions, I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Okay. That's it from Warren. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Yep. Now then, I need to do a heavy task here and read through all of these journals for you. It's gonna be such fun. <laughs> shit. Oh boy, I'm gonna go through this as fast as I can because I need to like, for the lower purpose and all, right? Um, hmm. So when did I leave? Where did I leave from the last time? Uh, let me see. Uh, right. Okay. Can we refresh our life? I think I completed page 8. Alright, so I'm gonna go with page 9, I guess. So, uh, this does not exist, October 7. You can skip ahead if you want to. Like, I'm gonna be reading through all of that. If you want to read with me or listen with me, you can. Otherwise, skip ahead to the other part, where I'm gonna be doing some action. So, this will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging in my face and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me but I totally blew the answer. Of course Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Uh, then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and clearly wants me to succeed. 
Okay, so it's still October 7. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get uh, to the bathroom to be alone and watch my face after that nightmare or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd but but a beautiful blue butterfly flutter in and right when I took the photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. Uh, when Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in the class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Uh, major Groundhog Deja Vu. I spun there. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Groundhog Day, there's a, a reference to Groundhog Day. So it's a movie. Um, somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I had I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his question and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again. I couldn't believe when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away of victory. Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Madsen, who thinks He's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I'm so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the uh, possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me but and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to the class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream where it uh, then ended with a saving a life and discovering I have some, po some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. All right, so it says here, not all those who wander are lost. Uh, all right. Whoops, crap. Um, what what am I doing? Oh, damn it. Okay, go back to... So, yeah. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could... I haven't seen in five years. That means Chloe. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science, so maybe he could may even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure it out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had the chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, and then Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, uh, black and white badassery. Uh, Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about a millionth time. Okay. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Ambers a pretty back, uh, Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. Um, if there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive and yes, uh, Victoria and her Vortex Vixens blocked me from getting in. Uh, so just recollecting the event from the episode one that I'm reading here. She's just writing them in her journal and even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I can't believe she did it. She did it. Um, she actually told me to go fuck your selfies, <laughs> though it was funny. I don't know why she had to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? Um, and she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up 
uh, with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe, but it did give me a chance to test it out. But it felt like shit seeing Vic uh, Victoria sitting there by herself with on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biash of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. Uh, she even deleted the picture uh, she took of me of her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. More high school drama. Uh, Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, it, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Alright. What the fluff? Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind it, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. Um, she was in a weird mood, so I had uh, a look around to see if I could find out why. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. So I guess... Uh, okay, now wait. Uh, Dana admitted she was pregnant. I realized that all of my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. She. Um, I've, I'm starting to get a hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has been a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Elisa from getting uh, a football field headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Elisa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. So I got pissed. I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. Uh, he was an asshole, as usual. And I felt good about what I did. And Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up to her, you know, for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. So great job, Max. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't believe... I don't even uh, believe uh, what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case though, it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess is the yang, yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again, he got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up her in a truck, my former best friend Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Uh, next thing I knew, I was in her car, in her trunk trunk in her truck <laughs> as uh, Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock I almost uh, I was almost paralyzed especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarre and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and staring at her dashboard uh, bubblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were true, uh, two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings and cool boots and I, I looked like a dork. I didn't even know. I didn't know uh, where to start and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers, at least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, melee with uh, Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else uh, going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. 
going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Um, some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. Uh, the house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of our new adult self. Uh, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill. So I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. I'm on I'm the other one. Okay, so uh, then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid it on, laid into me for not calling her once. Uh, I deserved it. Um, she had become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one uh, putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after uh, meeting some amazing dude, probably some uh, psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Um, snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance set up for Chloe's house with cameras in the <laughs> halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts uh, cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's uh, got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, um, she was so happy like um, we were kids and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old uh, Instamatic as a symbol of our reu reunion. She, uh, she cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit. Uh, that's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen, none other than David Madsen himself, the security guard from uh, arcade, the, uh, like the high school. Okay, the, um, I had to hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even uh, scarier of campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. I couldn't take it, considering she almost died that morning. So I stepped out and said it was my wit. Um, David tried to uh, threaten me, but Chloe was awesome and threatened him. He backed out of uh, he backed out of uh, he backed out of there quick. Uh, Chloe was so touched. I took the blame. Of course, she did steal one of uh, David's gun and waved it around like an idiot. Too much firepower for this girl to encounter in one day or one life. Fortunately, Chloe and I decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring like best friends. And the last page for now is... So Chloe and I ended up in at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was uh, in the bathroom with uh, Nathan Prescott. She told me uh, he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loans. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out uh, when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare or <laughs> duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm Except this time, I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path. And again, I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on another unusual note, 
Snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous and beautiful all at once. Especially standing there with my best friend and on that positive thought I have officially earned a great night's sleep. And that's all for the journal of Max for now. The objective is I need to grab my shower supplies and go to the shower. That's it for the uh, this part. So let's uh, read Nathan Prescott's bio of what Matt Max thinks about him. Uh, just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott, but I guess he was uh, the one who triggered my crazy reward power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate him. But if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places as his family's last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over-medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. And he almost killed, slash did kill, a uh, girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? Uh, what do I say about my rewind power? Like, I would say anything. Uh, I just have to watch on my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Um, David Madsen, let's see what he, uh, what Max has to say about him. Wow, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here, and that, and that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like uh, they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was uh, kicked out of the army or something. So, of course, you would end up at a Blackwell Academy in charge of uh, security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Um, bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and a gun, like he's uh, looking at, looking to taste somebody. Um, he would make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Uh, who, who does a guy like that marry? Um... Well, Joyce, I guess. He's married to Joyce. Um, I feel sorry for his family. Uh, it would be like living in a barrack. Shudder. Uh, just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's read about the Rachel Embers. Where is Rachel Embers? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality, like missing person posters, literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Uh, Rachel had a great picture on her uh, missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Uh, did she run away from home? I would like to hope so, for her sake. It's so depressing. And I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. She, I, no matter how much Blackwell seems uh, like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. Uh, Principal, I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I started... Uh, like a fool. Uh, he had so much power over my scholarship, I got uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all his drama. I thought I smelled alcohol out of, on, on his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember his first meeting in his office and he was so nice and made me feel like a uh, I was part of a special world. He said he uh, he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was 
bit of wishful thinking and it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Hmm. Yeah, uh, principal was do seem a bit strange around Max. I don't know why. Maybe, you know, Max has a scholarship or something. I don't think he's prejudiced against me or something. Anyway. Uh, Warren. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants to, uh, he wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it uh, for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn <laughs> and I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Uh, Warren is a geek, and but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally, uh, the same age here, and he makes me smile. Okay, great stuff. And of course we have Chloe, <laughs> uh, with an anarchy sign. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? Well, after finding out uh, you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not uh, staying in the touch, staying in touch, or even text. Uh, I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. Uh, for one thing, she looks so f similar but uh, so different. She's all grown up now, but she doesn't seem like she's uh, only one year older than me. Huh? Okay, of course. So her appearance and all, her attitude mentality. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dies. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can uh, still see the old Chloe in there. Or is it, is it, uh, is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's uh, still messed up about her dad dying, I would be too. Uh, there was a terrible time, that was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out no matter what, no matter what. And I guess that's about it for now. Let's continue with the game. Sorry about the reading. That to like go through them all. Just to give you guys the lore of what Max is thinking. Or of all the characters and all. And what they think about the Max. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game. Instead of drama games. Mystic Enhancement Cards. Okay. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton. The greatest. We looked at them before. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. So more books about. Will I really find any insight into my power? So if Max is looking uh, for source of her power. If she can find any explanation why, what she can do, how she can do this, and then. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. So I'm not gonna read through that. It's just more time. You know, time particles, like research on the on the on the whole uh, quantum physics, time and all. <sighs> I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Okay. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. So, Doctor Max. Uh, so, hey, Max. Doctors in the house, I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links. And without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation of your newfound uh, chrono interest. The Time Machine, the 1960 version, uh, fun early steampunk sci-fi and uh, uh, Murloc's face says melt. Primer, lo-fi film, uh, time traveler. Um, Lo-fi time travelers in uh, Dallas, brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Time after time, 
uh, H.G. Wells uses his time machine to chase Jack the Reaper to modern day San Francisco, super cool and clever. Our fiction? That's not a time traveling movie. Serious. The switching between timelines gives you a good basic outlines of relativity plus Uma. Okay. Somewhere in time, a uh, big cult around this uh, romantic sci fi written by Richard Madsen. Uh, Madsen. The best kind of chick flick, you'll cry like a baby. I did. Um, time slip, you can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Uh, Sonny, Chiba, and his uh, soldier end up back in Samurai Day, basically tanks versus ninjas, and time cop. Jean Claude Van Damme does a, uh, the split on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need I say more? That's all the time I have now, as I do have an actual quantum physics to plow through and uh, not your fun back in the future homework that I never get. Now that you have discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab uh, more as well. I could always use a new partner in time, get it? Don't hit. I'm leaving. Doctor Who. Sorry. So these are the movies, these are the actual movies I think, that you can like be referred to This is Max. so insane, it sounds logical to me. So time travel is not just science fiction, history has recorded uh, blah 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 blah, I don't want to read this whole thing. You can guys, you guys can read, pause the video and read the thing if you want. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no uh, scientist again, ever Again, I'm not going to read through that. Too much reading. Um, I could, but it's going to take up the entirety of my video <laughs> if I just keep reading all this whole thing. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Uh, why are quantum physics trying to control time? As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notion of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. For example, Australian researchers are using uh, photons to simulate uh, quantum particles as they travel through time itself, even though the quantum time mechanics uh, is a very recent theory, first predicted in 1991. It has caught fire within the scientific community who estimated eliminated uh, ethics and morality from this their danger experiment okay and i thought i was into halloween dana is not messing around here so dana ward cool day halloween party bring it blackwell bloodsuckers next to prom night and big football my favorite time of year is the annual cool day uh, black halloween party a picture of uh, busting a thrill thriller zombie move uh, principal wells has given us almost carte blanche uh, to uh, decorate the hall and gym within taste and safety, so I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know you'll have tons of homeworks, as I do, but let's make this a Halloween that Blackwell will never forget. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuse for flaking, and if you don't show up, to help haunt the halls, the boogeyman will get you. Oh man, the puns. Uh, let's show Blackwell our ghoul power. Pleasant screams, Dana of the Dead. All right, Dana, we'll probably gonna meet and do something about that later. Uh, let's look at the camera. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Okay, let's take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Right. Um. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. I don't want to water this plant again because I already watered Lisa yesterday, so she's good to go. If I water the plant too much, the plant might die from overexposure of water. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. All right. Do I have anything else to discover? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Guitar? You can play the guitar for a bit. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. 
let's see if it's the same tune or a different tune because the episode one she played it like in one tune Alright, <laughs> enough guitar for the day. I got things to do. Um, poster? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Well, not sure about that. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Oh boy. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> Reference to Victoria Chase with her <laughs> expensive clothes and all. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. Damn. So, summer camp. Well, let's do that. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Finally. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. What is this watch? It's like for kids. All right. All right, finally, after a thousand years of reading through journals and articles now i can leave max's room Seriously, do not forget i need those papers before tonight like now thanks sherry yeah okay. of course victoria i'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon i am so on it consider it done okay then victoria is using her posses to you know do activities for her There's knock on Fine, Victoria. I won't disturb you. Oh, uh, I actually want to disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Yeah, let's do some more. Fine, I won't disturb you. <laughs> All right. Fine, I won't disturb you. Love. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Um, we already talked about that. No brook here. Okay, missing posters. More missing posters. There's Alisa there across the hall. More posters. Ow! Okay, she got TP'd in the head. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Mm, I sure can. Which I will, obviously. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> Lol. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Yep, saved Elisa again from getting hit in the head with something. First, she got hit with the head with a baseball. Not a baseball, like a like a like, you know like a rugby like a um, what do you call this? Uh, soccer ball or American like football? Yeah, and then now the TP. <laughs> anyway, cage room. Again, we'll bang for God. I already erased that Who yesterday. Satan. I'm gonna do this again today. Why the fuck not? Someone is messing around. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Yeah, right? This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Blah, 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 blah. Don't wanna like, read the whole thing today. Just wanna. They live. Because I already did that yesterday. Kate is not home. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Right. Okay, what else is here? That's a uh, missing person. Wait, there's a boy here at the girls' dorm? The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. What's up here? What's I didn't going think on? Kate was there's like Brooke this. looking smarter Smacking than everybody. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Whatever they're watching must be hot Everybody's stuff. What's watching? What are, what are they watching? Can I? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Mm-hmm. HIV and AIDS, blah, blah, blah. Read that. Read all of this. But what are they watching here? Can I? Okay, I can actually. Hey, Brooke. Them. Oh. Hi, Max. 
You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. Right. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. All right. Talk to uh, Juliet Watson. I remember that. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Kate's hot video? That's so not cool. What do you... I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. So... Something happened to... Kate? She maybe got drunk and did something in the Vortex Club. Someone recorded it and posted it online, as you know, high school assholes would do. Um, I guess that's why she's upset. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk to her about this later. All right. So uh, anyway, like uh, talking to uh, Juliet here. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Good. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I appreciate that, because she Kate's already going through a lot. I don't want anyone else to like harm her or hurt her by spreading out these videos or talking shit. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. All right. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Okay. All right, so uh, Dana's in a good mood today, from the looks of it. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh yeah, we already read that. No stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween Oh yeah, party. she's uh, organizing the party. Yeah, so cool. Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Are they shagging together in the night? Hmm. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Rollerblades! Nice. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Okay, then looking at hmm. contraceptive pills. Okay. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Damn, it's a lot of stuff. Curiosity killed the Max. Yeah, let's be snoopy. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. Hmm. Okay, so uh, relationship status, not single, happy, happy. So that's uh, uh, Dana and uh, what's his name? Forgot his name. Already, shit. Um, that would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. I want to read this email. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. I think I can see a uh, Trevor. His name is Trevor. All right. Anyway, let's talk to Dana. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. <laughs> Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're yeah. almost psychic. <laughs> I felt like you knew everything anyway. Oh, you have, have no the idea. The best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. 
so you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, bitch Warren. I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Um... Yeah, sure. I don't want to be a social outcast. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. Exactly. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. All right. Let's talk later, Max. Yeah, let's take a shower, clean ourselves up. Could be Y'all fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, I already read all of those yesterday in the last episode. So I can just... Oh, there's Kate. Okay, I can just talk to Kate now. She's alone in the washroom here. She looks kind of sad. Uh, hey, Max. Oops. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Um, are you okay? Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Yeah. She's not looking well. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Flu shots are not always, you know, what it says it's gonna be like. Otter power? I'm so not there. All right. Let's take a shower. We have enough, enough contemplating. All right. Okay, something's about to happen, maybe. What's of, up, Kate? Of course, Victoria. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my mm. god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. Oh god. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Man, sh looks Victor like it. Victor is such I a bitch. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. <laughs> good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hmm. It's rude. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. More rude. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody Shit. gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Man, high school bitches, like... These high school kids are such bitches, like... <laughs> oh, boy. Rude and mean-spirited. Ah, absolutely evil. Kids, these, these, you know, these days, it's just... Yeah. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. 
Assuming it, you know, it's not everyone, but still, when you see people like them, you lose hope. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. See, yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna erase that because fuck no, I'm not gonna let that happen to Kate. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah. Hello, water. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, I'm guessing by water he means the water pressure. Because if you like, you know, using a tap here, the tap water here, the water pressure might go down on the showers, something like that. Oh, oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Exactly. Anyway, shower's done. We washed our face and everything. Now we can go back and get dressed and meet with Kate because we have breakfast on her, which is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna meet her at the diner, Two Wales Diner. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Nobody messes with me, bitch. So that's definitely Nathan. Fucking bitch, he came to my room and then how did he even come to my... Okay, I didn't lock it, that's why. Fuck, and this one is saying... Man, what? this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. God damn. Fucking psychopath. Nathan's a true-to-life psychopath. Like, fuck this guy. No book here. Alright, so I'm supposed to get the book for Kate. The October Country. Here? Yeah. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. And he just dropped the full... Fast. And Kate he just dropped the... And I don't want to add to her list of problems. Paper on top of the soda here. I mean, it doesn't matter. because like, I mean, You get a butterfinger, Max. But we can do this. <laughs> Undo what I did. And uh, be careful next time. Be gone, foul soft drink. Exactly. This is such a wise, wistful book. I have to read way more Bradbury. I guess I have to as well. I haven't read Aha, any of... you sneaky book. You're mine. So dramatic. I haven't read any of Bradbury's book, so I guess... Uh, in time. So I got the book. Everything is... Like... Great. Except for this shit. Uh, now I need to get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Lol. Well, you, you can change your outfit. It doesn't take like... Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Oh. Poor thing. You can like change your outfit a bit. It doesn't have to be like... You don't have to refer yourself to Einstein. And just because Einstein doesn't, doesn't didn't change his outfit doesn't mean you have, don't have to. You can mix it up. Anyway, October 2nd week school schedule for 2013 to 2014 is we have Monday. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read through that, but nothing important here. Media, photography, okay. School stuff. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. All right. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. <laughs> That's true though. Okay, so what's the text here? Someone texted me. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Are you fucking stop, you fucking asshole? It's uh, Nathan. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. This is from Nathan. But it could be anybody. No, no, no. It's I Nathan. better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. Anyway. If fuck. I'm not already. Yeah. Fuck Nathan. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Anyway, let's uh, give the book back to Kate. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. 
Ominous music. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Okay, I'm going to read through this thing. Kate, your father and I received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seems justified. Please call us uh, after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. What? Your mother. Why, man? Like, her mother's not being supportive of her this whole time. Like, you know, this video and all. I don't know what's up, but at least maybe ask her what's going on, how she doing, what happened in this video or you know, what she was doing or all, whatever. And all. I don't know. Her mother seems a bit judgmental and very negative to her soul. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can see from this video, like the, the picture here, Kate is really a positive, high energy person. Like, you know, she's not necessarily high energy, but very positive and jolly. And uh, this thing happening to her, not the best of times. And I was just checking her down, pulling her down. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Shame, I guess, because of the video. She feels shameful. And then her mother nagging on her that, you know, you bringing shame to or your family or what is, what is saying? Kate is all alone. Yeah, shame to your family and, you know, that. So. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. She is definitely depressed. This is all of the science here is depression. Okay, we need to we need to help her as soon as we can. Professional help even if possible. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Yeah. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Because like Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. John uh what was it? John 1 5. Um Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Aw, hugs and love pop. So her father's uh, supportive of Kate. That's wonderful to hear. Okay. Now the thing about the like, depression, right? This not a laughing matter, it's not a joke. You have to take this shit seriously. Game or not, you know, if you're actually feeling depressed or suffering from any kinds of depression, you need to talk to someone. Uh, someone supportive, someone's not gonna judge you. Someone who listen to you and try to understand what you're going through. Even like talking about what you're going through might help you out just a little bit and not have it bottled up inside, right? And of course, if you need professional help, you can Go for a psychiatrist, uh, you know, psychologist, like, you know, and a therapist who will be able to help you on a on that level. Because like once you are depressed, if you don't take care of that or like you know process your emotions, it's it, you're gonna get into serious shit. You're gonna do things that you're gonna regret later on in life. So and it's gonna it's gonna build up. This depression's gonna build up and ke gonna keep bringing your life down. Something that you don't want. Anyway, I had no idea that Kate ever hung out that. with Alyssa and stuff. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Yeah, so Jesus, so uh, rabbit. That is the cutest bunny ever. Aww. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Really cute. Let me take a photo. All right. Okay, more letter. Ouch. See. She left out amnation. I cannot read that. Uh, dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. 
like a Jezebel, you released your harlot, what the fuck, uh, image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hell for Auntie Mar. So her auntie is also being a bitch, just like her mother. Well, I shouldn't be saying that, but still, they're being so, such, you know, like assholes. Um, not supporting her and putting all these negative words and judging her for something she did. Even if she did it, she's not herself. Maybe she did it out of like, you know, she was drunk. Maybe she was not feeling herself. Anything can happen. One incident doesn't have to define a character or define a person for the entire, you know, lifetime of good. Okay. So they shouldn't be like this. And, and they're like Catholic. So, th I mean, they're going to be harsh, but doesn't have to be like that. You know? Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Yeah, just going through her depression. She is most definitely depressed. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Uh, not sure about that. Uh, I don't have the information... You know, I have to talk to her and see what's up. Um, let's not judge her. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. So that's her, that's her dad, mom, and probably her sisters. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had so, nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Okay, so uh, Matthew 11... 28, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And the one here is crossed out. It says, Proverb 21, 15, when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. So one is crossed out. Maybe she didn't like this verse. See, she crossed that out. So come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So I guess Matthew 11 and 11.28, fine. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy until lately. Okay then. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Kate and her sisters, I guess. All right, so let's uh, talk to Kate. Oh, anything else? Good Lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. God. Dark, sh creepy shit. Skulls everywhere. Yeah, she doesn't draw like that. I mean, you know, we saw her drawing, right? This is what her usual drawings look like. Kate's art is perfect right? for her children's so This is like a, a huge so contrast fun, from what she uh, Positive. usually draws. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. All right, let's talk to her. Um... Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Um, because you are my friend and I want to help you and I don't want to see Madsen bully you. I hate bullies. There you go. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. You can see her tear marks on her face and then near her eyes. So she's been crying her eyes off. Uh, let me ask why. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Oh, God. And I have no memory of it. Okay. Why would you go there? That's awful. It doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Because, like, she's usually, like, a very, like, you know... Like, she's a Catholic, so she wouldn't be doing this kind of thing. 
in general. That's why I asked them, you know, she's not like that. So her, for her to do something, it's very uh, out of her character, right? Um, not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Hmm. Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh, Nathan Prescott, huh? You remember when uh, Nathan drugged Chloe on her, you know, spiked her drink? And uh, they went to the room and then, yeah, uh, he didn't manage to hurt uh, Chloe, but he did spike the drink. So I'm guessing he did the same to Kate. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. Hmm. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. Yeah, that's how that's how it works. He's the opposite of nice. Exactly. What next? That's what he does. All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Oh, God. And, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. Oh, no. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Oh, shit. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Uh, I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure well, it out. I'll check back later, okay? You can't take a viral Thanks, video Max. down. You can put my book here near my bag. Because, you know, you know how social media and internet works. Once it's out there, especially a viral video, that's it. It's going to be spread around everywhere. You can't just take it down. So, uh, I know that, you know, she's going through a tough time and I'll... Fuck, this is going to be hard. Like, I don't know how to support this. Let me go to the police. Um, I don't know. I, I know how she's feeling, you know, it's not fair. It's, it's Nathan's fault. If Nathan did actually spike the her, her drink and then, you know, all the subsequent things that did happen, we gotta catch Nathan. We gotta make a confession. Aha, uh -huh, what, that's what we can do. Confront Nathan and ask for a confession any way we can. We can also, like, try to use our power, right? And manipulate him and to see if we can spill it out. Something like that. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Exactly. Should I go to the police? Uh, oh, God. This is a hard one to make, hard choice. Fuck. Should I go to the police or look for proof? So... If we go to the cops, it's gonna be official. They're gonna ask questions, ask for proofs. But we don't, if you don't have proof, you know, they're not gonna take this seriously. So we need to gather for proof and evidence. For, I mean, I know I believe her, but then the, when, when you go to the cops, they're gonna ask for proof. That, you know, how did it happen and all whatnot. We can, like, you know, prosecute and find uh, evidence after you report to the cops, um, like once you make it official, right, they can look for proofs or something. Um, we can do both if you want to. We can go to the cops, report this incident here, and then look for proofs ourselves by confronting Nathan. And uh, if he makes a confession out of him, then we can like submit that info to the cops and then move on from there. I guess that's what we can do. Let's this is not a you know, childish thing. This is actually a serious shit. A serious shit. 
Um, he got kidnapped. Well, yeah, I would say he got kidnapped because you know, someone spiked, Nathan's probably spiked her ring, took her to a drive somewhere unknown, and I don't know what the fuck happened after that. And I, I don't think this kind of thing needs, can be, uh, you can hide it. And she does know that Nathan uh, did drive her some. So Nathan was involved. That is something that in her claim, she knows. Um, so it's going to be her against Nathan. Nathan's going to also say that he's, he's going to deny that. No, I didn't take Kate to anywhere. But then we can find some surveillance camera footages of them going somewhere. I don't know. Like The police can find something out. We looking for proof versus the police looking for proof professionally. It's going to make a difference. I think I'm going to go with the go to the police for now. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly yeah, dangerous. Exactly. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously backup now. Witness? Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. Hmm. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, because like Nathan and his family can use money and power and influence to probably change. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Oh, I... I'm okay with that. Like me dragging into this shit is fine. As long as she's my friend and as if I can help my friend in any way, I will do that. But the question here is the Nathan and the Prescott family with their power and money and influence, can they change the tune of how this whole incident happened? Like bribe the cops, bribe the officials? I no, if they can, but at least Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, yeah, I mean she is telling the truth. Well, otherwise, why else should she should she be so depressed and all? Something did happen, and this is not Kate, as you can see. Um, but anyway, um, I'll leave for now. I'll decide what to do with this whole situation later. Quite intense, you know. It's quite intense. All right, so. Chloe texted. Oh, right. I need to go to the uh, diner. Uh, Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Emoji and no emoji. Okay. All right. That's it for this section here. At least she's dedicated to her schoolwork. Speak again. Really, Max? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, leave the girls' dormitories. Now, okay, so I will. All right. So I will. Uh, I will uh, end the part uh, here because, like, I uh, part four. I mean. Uh, uh, it's already like over an hour. I don't want to overextend this video too long. Didn't get all that much done. I got something done, but like I was reading through this journal and whole thing for so long. Uh, I couldn't get other things done, but hopefully that won't happen because like from the next episode, uh, I'll be chugging along, chugging through all of this, like uh, the episode and see what happens. Uh, so hopefully you'll stick around for that. But for now, this is the end of uh, Life is Strange. Uh, I mean, this is the end of part four of Life is Strange, episode two. Um, 
I will uh, continue tomorrow with part five and play the rest of the episode two tomorrow and see what I happens. I better go to the main campus so I can take the bus to the diner. All right. So, Always waiting. Yeah, sure. So uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you tomorrow then. Take care.